Hi everyone, my name is Emily Davis, um, working here for the summer at Nisomi Farm and for the New England Wildflower Society. Um, I have my training actually in design and I'm a landscape designer, I graduated from the Conway School so I have a degree in ecological design and um, I guess the reason why I chose to work here for the season is to get to know my plants and to get to know my native plants. And, what better way than to just kind of start growing them from seed and, and propagate them and get a really intimate knowledge. So here I am and here we are in our propagation house here at Asami. Um, you can see here in these rows kind of behind me and next to me we have uh, lots of different native plants that we um, harvest the seed uh, wildly from you know wild populations and robust populations and then uh, propagate them in house and a lot of it's for contract work for restoration projects and we also send a lot to uh, landscape designers and even um, private uh, homeowners to work on their own places so um, it's exciting to be here and these are all our plants. This is one example of um, a project that we have going on right now. You can see it's actually all the plug trays that are marked with these little orange tags, but these are for um, our uh, one of the products that we're producing this year, which is a meadow kit. So we take one of these 50, um, uh, 50 L trays is what we call them, basically just a tray of 50 cells, and we'll custom fill them with different meadow plant species and then sell that to people. Um, and uh, as a way to, to create a meadow. And so it's all, we call it the meadow kit. It's all kind of in there and one nice compacted thing. Um, we have different species of grasses and wildflowers and we have different meadow kits for um, a wet meadow and a dry meadow and, and different you know, environments like that. So here's one uh, species of milkweed. This is Asclepius um, incarnata, the swamp milkweed. But we also have some Kiloni turtle head. This will be for a wet meadow. Um, we have Zizia and um, Eupatorium. Of course, is kind of classic. Some Iris in the back there. And, and then this is um, Andropogon glomeridus, another really nice uh, wet meadow grass that we are propagating. So um, we take all of these plugs and let them root in and then we'll have a day where we kind of package them all up together and send them out to create some meadows. Okay, and here we have a section of Carexes that are propagated from seed as well. Um, right here we have Carex apalachica, which we're growing a lot of because it's actually a really popular grass, both for our contract plugs and we send a lot to our retail section because it is in high demand as people are looking to replace their lawns. So we promote Carex apalachica and Pennsylvanica both as two grass species that are really great for lawn replacements. Um, Appalachica tends to mound a little bit more um, than the Pennsylvanica, um, but you know both are really attractive and nice in their own rights. So um, here's our Appalachica, and then the Carex Pennsylvanica, which kind of tends to spread a little bit more um, and it flows out a little bit more. A great idea, um, or I guess a, a model for uh, Carex Pennsylvanica. Lawn can actually be found at Garden in the Woods if any of you have stopped by in the Idea Garden um, with a little bit of dapple shade and mixed in with some other grasses. This is a really great lawn alternative that would be great for clients in, in uh, design.